How's everybody doing? It's uh, 9 12 2017, and uh, I'm just one of the meetings going to be about today is with a video my dad sent this morning. I'm going to translate everything Derek Carr did into this business and what like morals he had and what and what values he had, and then I'm just going to go over that. But one thing I do get from the video is his leadership, and um, this goes to everybody, including myself, to future leaders, leaders we have now, managers, and just what they said about him is he's very accountable and he has a command over everybody on the team, not just his offense, everybody, including his defense. I mean, every of this, the special teams, like he just has a command and he has, he has a presence of, he's very certain. And one thing we talked about yesterday was he definitely has a plan and he has a definite plan. I mean, his older brother, David Carr, um, he kind of like paved the way. And I think that's something similar we can look into is like my dad and Travis, like he paved the way and we've seen the mistakes he's made, we've seen the good things he's did, and that's what De that's what Derek Carr did. He just saw every mistake his brother did and just didn't make the mistake and saw the good things. And, and like you said, he was in the film room with with his older brother watching professionals like learn and like seeing how like what type of work ethic they have and seeing what type of plays and seeing what type of everything. And, and that's something we gotta hold on to and we gotta learn ourselves because we see Travis in and out, like see what type of moves he does and, and see what types of decisions he makes and see what type of timing he has and, and that's we got to translate into that be the Derek Carr for ourselves because like I said our, our our sky's the limit we don't have a limit in this so that's something we got to do we got to we got to really pay attention to detail and develop a certain plan like Derek Carr did is he was very certain and that's why he's in the position that's why he's one of the highest paid NFL players in right now the game in NFL and that's why he was an NFL candidate last year. I mean it sucks he got hurt his uh his his game before the playoffs but like you said man it's shoot if he was in that's that's scary in the AFC. They probably could have won the AFC if they could get past the Patriots. I don't know if they could get past the Patriots but I'm a Patriots fan but I mean they probably like I said they probably could have gave him a run for the money. But definitely watch out for the Raiders this year because like I said uh all right, sorry, part two, te te technical uh, difficulties for Xavier, but it's fine. But like I was saying, man, his will to win is just, like I said, it's, it's unstoppable. And it, it's, 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 like, it's like something you just got to latch on, and that's what I think the Raiders are doing. Like, his, he just knows how certain it is and how much he wants to win. He's not, carry, he's not worried about the stats. He's not worried about how many touchdowns he, he throws or anything. He just, like you said, when he does his little, uh, like, chant or when he's in the circle and he's doing the huddle, like, his whole thing is like he wants to win, like let's win, like let's do whatever it takes to win. And we have to develop that type of mindset in this business of we have to do whatever it takes to win. If we, if we have to work until 10 or we have to work until 12 or we have to sleep in the field, like our, 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 our mindset of, of winning, like it's gotta be certain and it's gotta be like, it's gotta be hungrier than everything else. Like you gotta just, you gotta just do it. Like you just gotta keep doing it and doing it and doing it until like, like it just comes back. And it's, it's not going to come back when the times you think it's going to come back. You just got to keep going. You you're you got to just embrace it all. And, and that's what Derek Carr did. He embraced it all. And he put himself in a great position of learning at a young age, like he said, at 12 years old, playing quarterback at his little uh, Pop Warner team and then learning from his brother. And he just, like he said, he created good habits. And that translated into college of him winning and into high school and him winning and into now winning. like. Right now, like to, that's what we got to do. We got to create good habits right now, and we got to learn from the leaders and the guys that have paved the way. Like, like they said, the guys, the veterans, Pete, Fernando, Deshaun, DQ, my dad, um, like all of them. We got to learn from all of them, and and we gotta we gotta really latch on, and we gotta understand the process of this. And and a couple more things I could go over is this, um, like I said, develop a, a definite plan and be certain of the plan and you got to stick to the plan no matter what like is you just got to do it you got to go out there and do it and uh, part three <laughs> another te technical difficulty but um one thing one last thing is i also did uh, he got passed up Derek Carr. he got passed up by the texans i mean like they said in the draft like i mean they were afraid to take another chance in another car because the other car before him was a bust but too bad for the Texans. They need a quarterback right now. Like, look how, look how, look how uh, they're in trouble with the quarterback situation. I know they got Watson, but whatever happened last game, I mean, it looked pretty bad. But 
Man, it's just like what I get off of the video is just like I said, it's really certain. You gotta be really certain out there. And you just, like I said, the will to win just gotta be more than everything. And um, I'm gonna let Pete finish it off and, uh, and then we'll just get into our goals. All right. Okay, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, with, with Derek Carr, man, what I see is just, it's definitely persistence. He, he's a beast. Uh, he wasn't the best. And, like you just said, the Tennessee Titans, they passed him up. And his, his work ethic, and that's the exact same thing as what we have to go do. No matter what happens today, we have to be persistent. We got tons of time. It's going to be 10 o'clock by the time we get out there. And it's inexcusable not to come back with several several installs. We got Ian over here. That he's, willing, he's got five more panels. And what I see is just the persistence, the work ethic, and the definitely the, the will to win. Um, I mean, some of the best basketball players, the best one I've ever seen is Michael Jordan. That guy got cut from a varsity, from a varsity basketball team. The other guy, Curry, I mean, a beast. He's already won two championships now. And what it all comes down to is their work ethic, their persistence to win, and just nothing's gonna get in their way. They have no excuses. Everything they do, they they're doing it for themselves and to prove everybody else wrong, which is a great thing to do, man. And uh, so, shit, Derek Carr, I mean, he, he hated not being there, not being at the games, or he couldn't play. And like his brother, you know, he was a bust. But shit, Derek Carr, man, just signed, I think, like the second largest contract in fucking in, in NFL history. Uh, and he all, he's only been there, what, three years? Or yeah. This is fourth year, I believe. He was drafted in 213. Uh, so, yeah, what a beast. And you can learn a lot from him. He does have a hell of a work ethic. And he doesn't, he could care less how many touchdowns he has. All he wants to do is win in the game. He doesn't care how many, how many yards he has. And there's a lot of quarterbacks that think differently. They do, hey, I had five touchdowns, but we still lost. They don't really care. But you can see in his demeanor, he definitely cares. And all he does is want to win. And that's it. That's what we all have to do today, everybody. Let's go kill it out there today for countywide. And let's have a good time doing it as well. Have a good day, everyone.